Hi everyone, welcome to Pla Academy. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support and encouragement motivate me to create more great videos. I divide the topics in Unit 1, Mechanics and Materials, as as follows, like this. And all the topics are covered by following the syllabus of the Physics International A-Level for Edexcel, as shown here. In this video, I've covered all of Topic 1, Mechanics, focusing on momentum. Linear momentum of this object is defined as the product of its mass and its velocity. So we get the equation of linear momentum is P equals mv, where m is mass in kilograms, v is velocity in meters per second, P is momentum in kilograms meters per second, or newton second. Momentum is a vector quantity, and its direction is the same as velocity's direction. Newton's second laws of motion state that a resultant force acting on a body will cause a change in momentum in the direction of the force. So, the resultant force is the rate of change in momentum. So the formula of the resultant force is F equals delta P divided by T, where delta P is change in momentum, which is mv minus mu, and v minus u over T is the acceleration, A. So the resultant force can be written as F equals ma. From this equation, we moves T to multiply with F like this. The product of F and T is defined as the impulse, I. So, the impulse is the change in momentum, or the product of resultant force and time. The impulse is a vector quantity, and its unit is the same as momentum's unit. We can conclude the Newton's second law of motion, that if the resultant force is not zero, causing the velocity to change, and the object will be accelerated or decelerated. If a ball of mass, m kilograms, is hit a wall at at a speed, u, it bounces back with a speed, v. The collision time, t, as shown. We use a negative sign to represent the left direction. The change in momentum is mv minus mu, substituting the negative v to indicate the left direction, like this. So the change in momentum is negative mv plus mu. The negative sign indicates that the change in momentum of the mass to the left direction. During the hitting, the mass, m, exerts a force on the wall with equal in size and opposite in direction, as the wall exerts a force on the mass, m. This is because Newton's third law of motion about action and reaction. The forces act on the mass and the wall for the same amount of during time, t. Principle of conservation of momentum states that the total momentum of a closed system before an interaction is equal to the total momentum of that system after the interaction. A closed system, that is, a system on which no external forces act. Momentum in collisions. The total momentum of objects that collide remains the same. This is called conservation of momentum. This means that the total momentum before collision to equal the total momentum after collision. When a ball A with mass, MA, collides to a ball B with mass, MB, like this, during the impact each ball exerts a force on the other with equal in size and opposite in direction. This is because Newton's third law about action and reaction, so negative FA equals FB. These forces act each ball for the same amount of during time t. This means that f times t being equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction for each ball. Like this, f a times t is the change in momentum of ball a. f b times t is the change in momentum of ball b. The negative shows that both change in momentum are in opposite direction. Before the collision, the initial velocity of the ball a is u a, and the initial velocity of the ball b is u b. After the collision, the final velocity of the ball A is VA, and the final velocity of the ball B is VB. So, the change in momentum of ball A is equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction, to the change in momentum of ball B. We rearrange the equation like this. This ensures that the total momentum before the collision remains equal to the total momentum after the collision. Work example 1. A wooden block is freely supported on brackets at a height of 4 meters above the ground, 
as shown. A bullet of mass 5 grams is shot vertically upwards into the wooden block of mass 95 grams. It embeds itself in the block. The impact causes the block to rise above its supporting brackets. The bullet hits the block with a velocity of 200 meters per second. How far above the ground will the block be at the maximum height of its path? When the bullet hits the block with a velocity of 200 meters per second, they stick together with a speed V as shown. We calculate the speed V of the bullet and the block by the total momentum before collision equals total momentum after collision. First, we convert the masses to kilograms. Bullet mass, 5 grams, equals 0.05 kilograms. Block mass, 95 grams, equals 0.095 kilograms. So, the total mass of the bullet and wooden block is 0.1 kilograms. The momentum of the bullet before the collision equals 0.05 times 200. The momentum of the block after the collision equals 0.095 times 0 due to the block rest. The momentum of the bullet and block after the collision equals 0.1 times V due to they stick together. We get the speed V to equal 10 meters per second. When both bullet and block rise above its supporting bracket, to reach the maximum height at their speed is zero, as shown. During this moment, the displacement S need to find. The initial velocity U equals 10. The final velocity V equals zero. The acceleration equals negative 9.81 due to downward direction, and time t is unknown. We calculate the displacement s by v squared equals u squared plus 2 a s. Substituting v equals o, u equals 10, a equals negative 9.81. We get the displacement s equals 5.0968 meters. So, the total distance from the ground equals 9.1 meters for two significant figures. Momentum in explosion. The conservation of momentum principle can be applied to explosions. So, the total momentum of the system before the explosion is equal to the total momentum of the system after the explosion, although there will be a significant increase in the total kinetic energy of the fragments. An explosion involves a rapid release of energy, causing an object to break apart into pieces that fly in different directions. Let's consider an object with mass m that is stationary before the explosion, so its momentum is zero. The object explodes into two fragments with masses m1 and m2, which move apart at velocities v1 and v2, respectively. The total momentum after the explosion is the sum of the momentum of the two fragments, m1, v1, plus m2, v2. Momentum is conserved when during explosion, so, total momentum before explosion equals total momentum after explosion. Then 0 equals m1v1 plus m2v2, and m1v1 equals minus m2v2. This equation tells us that the momentum of fragment m1 is equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction, to the momentum of fragment m2 as the rocket burns the fuel, generating hot gases that are ejected at high speeds from the rocket. This produces the momentum large amount of fast-moving gases out of the back of the rocket. So, the rocket gains an equal amount of momentum in the opposite direction to that of the moving exhaust gases. Exam style question 1. P and Q are identical spheres. Sphere P moves along a smooth horizontal surface and collides with sphere Q, which is initially stationary. After the collision, Sphere P moves off with a momentum of 0.096 kilograms meters per second in a direction of 15 degrees to its initial direction. Sphere Q moves off with a momentum of 0.14 kilograms meters per second in a direction of 10 degrees as shown. A. Use a scaled vector diagram to show that the magnitude of the total momentum of spheres P and Q after the collision is about 0.2 kilograms meters per second. The momentum is the vector quantity, so we can draw the vector diagram to find the resultant momentum. We set up the scale as 1 cm per 0.02 kg m per second, so the momentum of 0.096 kg m per second equals 4.8 cm, and the momentum of 0.14 kg m per second equals 7 cm. To measure the angle of 15 degrees from the horizontal line, like this, 
Draw the momentum vector of 4.8 centimeters, like this. To measure the angle of 10 degrees from the horizontal line, like this, draw the momentum vector of 7 centimeters, like this. Draw a parallelogram, like this. The resultant momentum is the diagonal line, like this. To measure the distance of the resultant momentum, which is 11.5 centimeters, to calculate the resultant momentum by multiplying 11.5 and 0 0.02, resulting in 0 0.23 kilograms meters per second, you get four marks from construction of correct vector diagram as parallelogram or triangle, momenta correct scaled, horizontal resultant momentum to within slope of one degree, the resultant momentum in range 0 0.22 to 0 0.24, B. State the principle of conservation of linear momentum. Total momentum before the collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision without the external force acting on the system. You get two marks from the sum or total momentum before a collision is equal to the sum or total after the collision, provided no external force act on the system or enclosed system. C. Calculate the initial velocity of sphere P. Mass of sphere P equals 0.12 kilograms. Therefore, total momentum before the collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision. So we get that the momentum of P plus the momentum of Q before the collision is equal to 0.23 kilograms meters per second. Substituting mass of P as 0.12 and the momentum of Q as 0 due to it is rest. We solve the velocity of P as negative 1.9 meters per second. You get two marks from. Use the equation P equals M, V, and correct work out. Correct answer as 1.9 meters per second. Exam style question two. The diagram shows a machine used to launch tennis balls in a horizontal direction. The machine is on frictionless wheels. Before a tennis ball is launched, the machine is stationary. A. Explain, in terms of momentum, why the machine starts to move as the ball is launched. The total momentum of the system is conserved. Initially, before the tennis ball launches, the total momentum is zero because the machine and the ball are at rest. When the ball is launched to the right, it gains momentum in that direction. Therefore, the machine recoils to the left with an equal magnitude of momentum ensuring that the total momentum of the system after the launch remains zero. You get three marks from State that the total momentum of the system is conserved. The initial momentum before a ball is launched to be zero. The final momentum of the machine and ball have opposite momenta. B. Calculate the velocity of the machine just after the ball is launched. Velocity of ball equals 4.5 meters per second. Mass of ball equals 0.056 kilograms. Mass of machine equals 2.9 kilograms. We use the principle of momentum to calculate the velocity of the machine. So total momentum before launching is equal to the total momentum after launching. The total momentum before is zero. Therefore we get zero is equal to momentum of the machine plus momentum of the ball. The momentum of the machine is 2.9 times V, where V is the final velocity of the machine. The momentum of the ball is 0 0.056 times 4.5. We solve the velocity v as negative 0 0.087 meters per second for two significant figures. The negative sign shows that the machine and the ball have opposite direction in the velocity. You get three marks from Use the equation p equals mv. Use the principle of momentum. Correct the workout and answer. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.